I'm going to show you an example on how to use my alpha files to create digital designs that you can sell as a PNG or a physical product, DTF transfers, whatever you want to do for that. So once you went in and you purchase, you're going to go to your purchase tab. I'm just going to download my PDF from here. But you will go to this part in your shop right here, purchase and reviews, and then download the PDF that's attached to the file. And then you can just go ahead and open that up, click the button that says click here, and that's going to take you to Google Drive. And once you get in here, then you can download. It takes a second to load sometimes. I click usually just like right here and click download. And that way it'll zip everything and download it all in one file. And then you can just extract it versus sitting here selecting each individual file, which takes forever. Okay, and then once your file is downloaded, mine go to my downloads folder on my laptop. So I go here and you'll see your files right there. I extract and then that's going to load and unzip everything for me. And then I'm going to move over to Canva. So I have a 20 by 16 inch design board right here. You can change your design style if you're doing a square or whatever you need but I'm going to do more of a long um, just like mama nana signs so let's go to uploads and I'm just going to go ahead and upload it right here I knew I normally do projects let me actually go over there go to folders and then completed alphas and then that way I can just drag and drop the entire folder in here and so that's going to upload everything for us to use and then once you have everything uploaded from your folder, then you have your alpha set ready to go. And what I like to do is I like to do this in Canva. Yes, I have Photoshop and I use Photoshop for a lot of things, but not for alpha set designs. It's just quicker for me to make a base file for each alpha set. So we're going to go ahead and add in, we're just going to do a mama. We'll resize that just a little bit. And these letters are a little bit wider. So we're going to do it like that. And then I'm going to duplicate about there. And then we're just going to make this fit into the file. And it's really as simple as that if you're just wanting like a simple mama design. Now, obviously, if you want to add some text or things, you're in Canva already. All you have to do is go ahead and add a text box to it. And then I know one one phrase that's kind of popular. Let's make sure it's actually doing colors. To me, this phrase really doesn't go with this design, but you get the drift of just making the designs like that. And so what I would do once I have this done is I would go through here and I would add a page. Actually, we're just going to duplicate. And instead of having the M's, I would go back in to my folder over here and would go a Nana. So we want a Nana file. And then duplicate that. And then, of course, I'm going to go into my positions and I'm going to make it to where this one's on the bottom and that way they're overlapping right here. And then what I like to do, you can download this, but in order for you not to have all the extra space at the top and at the bottom, I just click all of them together and then right click and download selection. And then I can usually do, I usually probably do about 2.5 on this and then transparent and then download. And that'll download it. That way you're ready for your t-shirt design or to resell it as a PNG or whatever you're about to do with it. It's ready. I also like doing it like this because it allows me to do longer designs and square designs all in the same design set in Canva. And let's see. So we would duplicate that. So if we wanted to stack it like this, 
instead of doing it long ways to do a mama design then you could do that and then all you need to do is highlight all of that and then once again boom I have it to where it saves my download settings 2.5 transparent download so now you've got two different versions that you can sell and it tends to move a lot quicker so in my shop once I do this I go ahead and do them in bulk however many I'm going to do for that day 10 15 20 30 and then you can go in and bulk upload right so some of the designs that I have let's see so under our sports would be like these this is how I do these kind of designs and they sell really well but it also just kind of moves up the process of your designing to where it's not quite as long and so every single design that I have so I just listed some new alphas that are in the star alpha set but it's got the little checkered or the diamond pattern and then I'm doing some right now that have the um, the smeary brush strokes on it so I could upload all of these to Canva and then go into my design file and then just drag and drop and then it would just change it to different I think I have I think I have one under here that I could just use to show as an example. So let's say we want to do a different design. Boom. Drag and drop. Now you have the different colors in it. And so you could do that on and on and on until you've got everything done. And then that way it's also quicker for you to do the different design styles in the same format. So I hope this helps. Please check out my shop if you guys want to uh, get any alpha sets or anything like that. I have some fonts and alpha sets to where you can resell these as alphas. So some of these are already layered. Some of these like the fonts are not layered. You would have to draw an outline or whatever your shadow or whatever you want to do. Some of them already have the outlines. So I do allow you to use this section right here to resell as alphas. And then my completed alphabets you can't resell as alpha because obviously they're already alphas. But you can make digital designs and sell. So I've got some new Pearl stuff up because I see that that's about to be trending. So yeah, I hope that this video helps. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments.